And welcome to the player review of Inform Rafinha. Plays for Barcelona in La Liga BBVA. He's 5 foot 10 tall, left footed, he's got medium medium work rate, it's a 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts are his 86 dribbling, 84 ball control, 84 short pass, 81 agility and 81 vision. We've also included all of his upgrades from his non-inform as a comparison for you, so you can see each individual stat increase. So you can always pause the video if you want a close look at his stats now. So for this review, we're using Inform Rafinha as a centre forward in a 4-3-3 false nine formation in a little Brazilian gold and silver team, as you can see on screen now. So this is the team we used in all the footage. So on to how we felt about Inform Rafinha. Now I did decide to try Rafinha as a centre forward, as we said, as I think he should be used at least as I can to get the best out of him. And he did actually turn out to be a great centre forward. He's got superb dribbling, 86 dribbling and 81 agility. And he has no problems unlocking defences with his dribbling. He frequently drifted through the defence on his way to goal. And his pace is fine as well. 80 acceleration, so good from bursting away from uh, skill dribble. And 77 sprint speed is okay for a centre forward. And he does have his four star skills as well, which did come in really handy as well. He did manage to draw a lot of fouls with Rafinha and even won a few penalties as well, which he did take away. Now he does have medium, medium work rate, which is actually suited to a centre forward or a cam role, which I think we should be playing him in. As he was always sitting in the middle in between the box and halfway line so he can pick up the ball. Then you've got your different options. You can either choose to dribble when he's dribbling or you can spread the ball. And he does have great passing as well. 84 short and 73 long. And he didn't misplace many passes at all. Shooting wise, he was great. Despite only 71 finishing, he was tucking him away in the box. And he even managed to get on the score sheet in every game we played. So was making an impact at centre forward. He does have his four star weak foot as well as his four star skills. And he did make good use of it as well. He can finish as good on his right as his left foot and he got almost as many goals on his weaker foot than his strong foot so always great having a two-footed player to make the most of your scoring opportunities a lot of the times with a weaker foot you're missing some chances up top so great to have his four star skills and his four star weak foot great player and i definitely recommend him play him at least as a cam you can play him as a centre mid but I feel he'd be better suited as a cam or even as a centre forward as we tried. So let's look at Inform Rafinha's performance stats. So in 8 games he managed to score 12 goals and get 4 assists. All stats are on the left, goals are on the right. Position map bottom right shows you where the goals were scored and assists were created as well. So overall we're giving Inform Rafinha a 9 out of 10. Great little Brazilian Inform with superb dribbling, decent pace and great passing as well. Great for a cam or a centre forward. As we said, you can use him as centre mid, but his position change to centre mid isn't suiting. I'd prefer him at a cam or a centre forward to make most of his uh, dribbling and his creative game. Great for a La Liga or Brazilian team. And of course, he's got that great chem link to Neymar. For people trying to build hybrids, perfect to link in them to. Fairly cheap as well. I paid 40k, that was a bit over odds. He's around 30k at the minute and dropping more. I'd like to see him around 20k, so highly recommend you go out and try him as an attacking midfielder. Great little player. So finally, on some positives and negatives. Positives are obviously he's great 86 dribbling and his 81 agility helps in that department as well. He's got his four star weak foot and he's got his four star skills as well. Great for skilling, great for shooting and he's got his great passing for his creative game. His only real negative was his heading. Not really good at winning headers. But to be honest, we couldn't really find any really bad negatives about Rafinha. He's a great all-round player to have. Highly recommend you go out and try him. So thanks a lot for watching lads, hopefully you did enjoy the review, if you did please leave a like, it does help out a lot, we're trying to grow the channel, trying to do the most in depth squad builders and reviews as we can. Please check out the channel for more squad builders and reviews, more to come as well, so stay tuned, cheers lads, peace.